you're at the state fair and you see the biggest stuffed animal that you've ever seen. It's a prize at one of the booths, but the only way you can win it is by solving this chess puzzle. The guy at the booth tells you, it's white to play, you're playing as white, and all you have to do is not lose. These pawns are going this direction. It's your move, what do you play? Well, if you had a chance to look at that, hopefully you didn't say the move knight to e2 check, which is a pretty logical looking move. So here's the problem. This pawn's about to become a queen. The bishop can't stop it, it's on the wrong color. The knight can't stop it in one move, but you could go here, put the king in check, and then you could hop over here, and it looks like you're stopping the pawn. So this is a pretty logical attempt. However, the problem is the move a3. And what's happening is the only thing stopping this guy from going further is your knight, which is also stopping this pawn, which means your knight is overworked, and next move, you're going to have a problem. And you don't actually have time to do anything with the bishop because black just pushes. And if you take it, you lose the queen here. And if you don't take it and try to do something else, well, black just gets a queen here, right? You can't save it. So what did you need to play instead? Well, if you said the move knight to h3 check, congratulations, you're still in the running for the giant teddy bear. But you're not done yet. The guy at the booth plays the move king to f3, and he says, okay, what do you play now? Well, if you had a chance to look at that, this one's pretty easy. The only move is knight to f2 because that's the only way you can stop the pawn from becoming a queen. Now, some of you are probably thinking, but how does that help us? Because the king is just going to take. Well, we can follow it up with the move king to d3 check, and now black plays king to e1. And at this point, the man at the booth says, okay, it's your turn again. What do you play now? Well, if you had a chance to look at that, hopefully you didn't say the move bishop to a5, because if you said that, you're in trouble, because knight to f3 actually defends that. This is still a threat, and let's just say you try to go here to stop this. He's going to play it anyway, because your bishop has to stay here guarding this pawn. If you ever move it off, black gets the queen, and again, we kind of get the same situation where your bishop is overworked and you actually can't stop both of these things, okay? So the only move in this position was the move bishop to f2 check, sacrificing the bishop. Now, why are we doing this? Well, first of all, if the king takes us, we take the pawn and we're also gonna come over here and take this guy. Notice how we can step into the triangle here so we can catch the pawn very easily. And the other part of this is black's knight is actually too far out of the picture. So for example, knight to f3 check, we go king to c3. Notice the knight can't come in, and wherever it goes, we simply come over to b4, and black can't save the pawn. All right, so that's kind of the idea. However, the guy at the booth says, okay, nice try, but it's not over yet. I'm going to play the move king to d1, and now what do you do? Well, if you had a chance to look at that, hopefully you didn't say bishop to e3, because this actually looks like a pretty good try. Like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and take this pawn, and if black pushes, I'm going to be just in time to stop it with bishop to c3. Seems pretty logical. The problem with bishop to e3 is that black's going to play the move knight to f3 defending here, and again, you're going to have two problems, and how do you stop both of them? For example, if you play king over, black's going to push, king over, and now black has a really nasty move, knight to d4 check, which you might say, well, that's what I wanted to do anyway, just take the pawn, but look at this, boom, there's the fork, you lose the bishop, you lose the game, and if you don't take the pawn and you take the knight, black simply plays king to e2, and again, you have too many threats, well, this is really the only one that matters, and you can't stop the queen. You can attack it, he gets a queen, you can go here, he still gets a queen, and black wins. Very clever by black. So going back to this position, uh, sorry, this position, the only correct move was to capture the knight. Okay, so you did have to get rid of the knight because of the little trick there that we saw. So if you said that, you're still in the running for the stuffed animal. All right, let's keep going. The man at the booth plays the move A3 and says, and what do you play next? Well, if you had a chance to look at that, the only move here that saves the game is bishop to f6, getting onto this diagonal. See, if you play anything else, let's just say you attack the pawn, this doesn't really help you because a2, and you still have to worry about this anyway, 
and you just wasted a move, right? So the best thing to do is get onto that diagonal immediately. All right, the man at the booth says, okay, I'll play A2, and what do you do now? All right, if you had a chance to look at that, the only way you are still in the running for the teddy bear is the move bishop to c3. You're attacking the pawn, and this is important because if the king tries to move either way to get ready to push it, you take it with check. And then you're also in time to, sorry, to come back here and stop this guy, right? So that's incredibly important. Any other move, like let's just say bishop to b2, for example, and black can simply move the king and you can't take it with check. And now you have two threats and you can't stop both of them, right? So that's the idea. Okay, bishop f6 had to be played. So black says, okay, let's get the queen. You take it and then they move here and it looks like you might be in trouble. What do you play here? Well, if you had a chance to look at that and you said bishop to b2 check, you are correct. And after king takes b2, you simply take the pawn. The game is a draw and you win the giant teddy bear. Congratulations if you saw all those tricks along the way. It was not an easy one, but with perfect play, it was a draw. Hope you guys enjoyed that one and I'll see you next time. As always, stay sharp, play smart.